So when I first heard about somebody putting spray adhesive in their fucking hair, I'm thinking, oh, this is a white person. This is white people shit. This is what white people do. White people do shit like this. That white people jackass type of shit. You know, I got you. I put fucking spray adhesive in your fucking head. This is a white people shit, right? But then I continue to read the article. Louisiana woman, Tessica Brown. I said, shit. Now, hold on now. Did it not sound like some white people shit? But the name, though. Only a nigga gonna drop the J off of Jessica and throw a T in that motherfucker and make it Tessica. That's some nigga shit right there. Who she bet not motherfucking be black. She bet not be black. I hit play. This bitch is black. The name Tessica sounds like some shit that Steve Harvey would say on Family Feud. Uh, Tessica, Steve. Tessica! So picture it. Six weeks ago, Testicles, uh, Tessica, is at home doing her hair. She goes to reach for the hairspray and realizes she is out of fucking hairspray. So Tessica goes to Walgreens. No, she doesn't. Tessica says... What the fuck I got in this house that's like hairspray? I know. Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. Tessica grabs the fucking Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. Okay? Goes to the mirror. Because when you do your hair, you do your hair in the mirror. So that means you're looking at yourself doing the shit that you do. She's looking at herself doing stupid shit. Okay? Sprays the fucking shit onto her head, okay? Now, at any moment, Tessica could just stop, you know, say, hey, wait a minute. You know, third of a way in, this don't make sense. Let me just stop right here. Fucking half of a way in, you know, let me just stop. This shit, this is glue. This, I, I'm gluing my head, let me stop. No, Tessica finishes the fucking job with the fucking spray adhesive. Finishes gluing her fucking head. Hold on, she ain't done yet. She then puts some more glue in the back, takes a ponytail, and glues the motherfucker to the back of her head. And goes out. Pump, pump, pump. Six weeks into having fucking Gorilla Glue into her hair, she takes to the internet looking for help. She makes a video that goes viral. She was like, look, I ran out of hairspray. M mind you, she tells people this shit. Like, she... This would be so secretive. Let me shut the fuck up because I'm the same person that wiped my ass with Clorox wipes. Okay, so I just had a humbling experience. I've been calling her stupid. I need to say what she did was stupid. Like what I did with Clorox wipes, wiping my ass with a Clorox wipe was stupid. You know what I'm saying? However, if we're going to, you know, rate the degree of stupidity, you know, my stupidity lasts maybe about a few hours, long enough for me to go to the ER and then clean my ass out. This bitch, her shit been in her head for fucking a whole month now. You know what I'm saying? My shit lasted a few hours. Her shit went on for a whole month. So I'm just saying on the level of, you know, she's up here, I'm right here. So any gay, it ain't like I glued my butt cheeks together. You know what I'm saying? I just, I wiped it with a Clorox wipe. I ain't glued my ass cheeks together. Any gay. So my girl Tessa shows us how she's been trying to get the glue adhesive out of her hair. She's been using Pantene shampoo. That's what you came up with? You up here being MacGyver in the motherfucking house. Now all of a sudden, all your MacGyverness is gone. You just using Pantene. Like if she'd have put some gasoline in her hair or some shit like that, some goop be gone, I'd have respected that. I'd be like, okay, she really trying to get this shit out of her hair. Sis is just going about this shit like it's just a normal hairspray inside of her shit. Bitch, you have spray adhesive in your hair. So you're going to have to get creative, bitch. You know what I'm saying? The same creative you got when you went and picked up Gorilla Glue and put the shit in your hair in place of hairspray. I need that type of creative creativity to happen to get the shit out. So about a week ago, her sister was able to put some super glue remover in the back of her head to at least get the ponytail out. And they freed the ponytail from her. But now, Tessica's out here looking like a cross between Sonic the Hedgehog and Jermaine Jackson. Who am I? Tessa waking up from a nap. Normally, 
the internet is the most insensitive place in the world, right? Don't give a fuck. There is no such thing as too soon for these motherfuckers. They go in. But when it comes to testicle, sorry, I can't control my Steve Harvey when I say this girl's name. He just jump out of me. But when it comes to Tessica, they got all the understanding, all the compassion, all the sympathy for this girl. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear this praying hands. Oh, poor baby. She's so innocent. No, she's fucking stupid. I shouldn't call her stupid. I should say what she did was stupid. What she did was stupid. That was a self-inflicted wound. That's what the fuck she did to herself. So I can't feel that sorry for her because you put spray adhesive in your fucking head. It's people who use products the way that products are intended to be used and still suffer injuries or sicknesses from it and they ain't getting shit in return. Fucking Johnson Johnson's baby powder and uh, weed, uh, Roundup weed killer out here fucking people up. And people ain't getting paid for their injuries and shit like that. Yet my girl spraying spray adhesive in her fucking head is like, look, I'm suing. Y'all gonna have to give me some money for this shit. No, bitch, because if we give you some money, we're gonna encourage other motherfuckers to be as goddamn stupid as fucking you. I, I'm not calling her stupid. What I'm saying is what she did was stupid. What she did was stupid, and we're gonna encourage other motherfuckers to do stupid shit like her. If Tessica's case does go to trial, I need for it to be overseen by Judge Judy. Because Judge Judy is going to have that shit out of here in 2.3 motherfucking seconds. Judge Judy is sending that shit out the door. Tessica going to come up there. Um, So, Your Honor, I had spray, spray, uh, Gorilla Glue spray adhesive into my head because I had ran out of hairspray. Just a second. Because you know Judge Judy going to cut her ass off right there with just a second. Just a second, motherfucker. Just hold up, just a second. And then Judge Judy gonna repeat this shit back to her. So you telling me, you sprayed, sprayed here, because you know she gotta look around because she's trying to look for somebody to fucking understand the stupid shit she fucking hearing right now. So you telling me, you sprayed, spray adhesive, Gorilla Glue, spray adhesive into your head, and you're looking to get money back for that. So a Beverly Hills uh, plastic surgeon said that he would do the $12,500 procedure to remove the Gorilla Glue from her hair for free. He would do it free of charge. This is the, this is the people who get the free plastic surgery. Okay, so if y'all was wondering for people who are suffering from things that they didn't fucking inflict on themselves, this is who gets it. The girl who puts the glue in her own fucking head. So in order for the doctor to get the glue out of her hair, he used specific ingredients that would target the main chemical or some shit like that in Gorilla Glue. So he used medical grade uh, adhesive remover, uh, aloe Rivera, shout out, um, olive oil, and a little bit of acetone. You know, mixed all that shit together and it got the shit out of her hair. How it came to twelve thousand five hundred, I don't fucking know. Sounds like you could do that on a trip to Walmart for fifty dollars. But hey, that's what he's charging. So after a four-hour procedure, they were able to remove all of the glue from Tessa's head. So Tessa gets up from the table, from the operating table, goes over to the mirror, and she says. Ooh, it's, it's extra black. It's extra black. I don't know what. Did y'all put something in there to make it extra black? It's extra black. It's, it's blacker than I've ever seen black before on anything. It's, it's extra black. It is extra black. Now, see, that made me worry. I know everybody else is all happy and shit. Like, oh, good. Tessa, you good. Your hair look good. You got to keep some of your hair. You, good. I'm so happy for her. This is a beautiful story. Now, I was worried because to me, that's not the reaction I was looking for. I wasn't looking for Tessa to go over to the mirror like, oh, it's extra black. Look at all the black. This is, how did y'all make it so black? This is extra black. Like, that wasn't the reaction I was looking for. The reaction I would have wanted was something that showed that she learned a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I'm so thankful I can run my fingers through my hair. Oh, it's out and I still got to keep some hair. I'll never do something as stupid as this again. Shit like that. Like, that's what I was looking to hear from her. Like, I've learned a lesson. Sis just saying, mm, it's extra black. Means that she might go home and start doing this shit all over again. She needs somebody to go home before she get there and just baby proof the goddamn house. Because shit, if that bitch run out of anything, she's about to substitute the shit before she go buy some new shit. 
I was going to fry some chicken, but I don't have no more cooking oil. But I do have some of this Mobile One Fully Synthetic Mobile Oil. I guess I could just use that. It's a oil. <laughs> Looks like I'm out of bubble gum. Well, this top high looks pretty good. <laughs> no more wipes. Oh, but I do have Clorox wipes. <laughs> so, I just realized that I've been called this girl Tessa. <laughs> I don't know, I won't know till I do the editing, but I'm pretty sure I've been calling her Tessa and not Tessica. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wine. So I think we can all agree that we can't just send Tessica home unsupervised. You know, we need to get a caretaker to look after her ass just in case she decided to do some more stupid shit like putting spray adhesive in her hair. We need somebody to look after her. Now, I nominate, because we're going to need somebody with patience and understanding and with skill. I nominate the woman who was spit on like three times this week by a, a white woman. You see this old white woman? Like this, this lady right here. She has all the patience in the world. A patience that I will never fucking understand. Because trust and believe, if I'm washing dishes and an old white bitch spit on me like that, I'm smacking the shit out of Cloris Leachman. Pow! Bitch, what are you... You know what I'm saying? I'm smacking the shit out of her ass. Dish soap and all. Just to... Just, just smacking the shit out of her ass. I don't give a fuck what she going through. What she has. Alzheimer's. Old timers. New timers. It's about timers for me to smack the shit out you if you try to spit on me, bitch. What I won't be doing is understanding. Fuck, did they understand? No. So therefore, I can't fucking understand. Period.